here comes the weekend and it is a spring vernal equinox on the 20th, which means there's a marker that we're shifting. It's still probably cold somewhere. We got our warm fuzzies on, but the energy is definitely shifting. And the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Scorpio. This combination, I know someone with this, is so driven. They have so much chi. We have entered the season of Aries. If you're not feeling the chi because we left behind Pisces, the dreamer, something's fishy. We have Pluto at very late degree in Capricorn. We're getting ready to leave that Pluto in Capricorn. It's been here for like 14 years. And I want to say when there's a spring vernal equinox, in the olden days, the pagans would acknowledge the season change by doing something like throwing away all your clothes, Moon and Scorpio. Well, not throwing them away, but putting them all in boxes, changing up your house, redecorating. Something's got to shift because we're entering into spring and you want to feel the catalyst. Moon and Scorpio can make you edgy, can make you mean, can make you feel especially Aries, like Aries Scorpio. That pressure, that tension, because the moon is squaring Pluto at that late degree in Capricorn at the end of this, by the end of Tuesday, there'll be a perfect square at that late degree. That creates tension. But here's the good news. It's the nature of Aries to walk straight into tension and Scorpio likes it. Scorpio likes to stir the pot. Aries Scorpio is not someone who's going to sit idle. So Sunday, you wake up and you feel a little edgy because the moon's in Scorpio and you're like, wow. Or you say, wow, I'm feeling motivated. I feel like I really want to do something major in my life, in my house, in my body, because it's kind of like a change cycle. And March 22nd is Reese Witherspoon's birth date. Such a little spunky Aries. I love this energy. I hope you're all feeling it. And if you're not, you know, you can go to my website and I can help you. DebraSilvermanAstrology.com. And you work with me and I say, how can I match make you with somebody who will be just like your character will explain you to because there's so much chi, there's so much get up and go. One of the topics that you know I'm interested in is how to get you to be you. Because if you're edgy and the moon in Scorpio pushes you over and you're feeling like spring isn't coming and you don't have the get up and go, I can help light the fire. Come on, baby, light my fire, said every Aries. Astrology answer said, you need a little fire starter? It's me.